Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. Today's video presentation is going to be on Proposition 2 of Book 1, which states that if we have a given line with a given point, it is possible to draw another line starting at this point that is equal in length to the original. So that this line is equal in length to that line. So how do we go about proving this or demonstrating this? Let's start with a line segment AB and a point C. The first thing we're going to do is draw a line from A to C. Next we're going to construct an equilateral triangle using the methods described in Proposition 1 on the line AC. So here we're getting our equilateral triangle. The next thing we're going to do is to draw a circle with A as the center and AB as the radius and label the intersection point E. Next we're going to draw a circle around the point D with DE as the radius and label the intersection point F. And looking at this we now have AB is equal in length to FC. So how do we demonstrate that this is actually true? Well, let's look at DA and DC are sides of an equilateral triangle, so they are equal in length, which we will call X. The points DE and DF are radii of the same circle, so they are also equal in length, and we shall call them Y. Consequently, AE is X minus Y, and F C is x minus y. Looking at AE again, which we relabeled as z for simplicity, AB and AE are radii of the same circle, so they are equal in length. So we now have AB equals AE equals FC, or simply AB equals FC. So we have just drawn a line equal in length starting at the point C that's equal in length to AB. Now what if we have a slightly different configuration? We have line AB and point C. Now we start off in the same fashion. We draw a line from A to C. Next, we construct an equilateral triangle on the line AC. And now we draw a line, sorry, we draw a circle with A as the center, AB as the radius. and label point E, but there is no intersection. So what do we do now? What we do is we simply extend the line DA until it crosses the circle. And we label the line, the intersection of the line DA and the circle as point E. Continuing on, we create another circle with DE as the radius and D as the center, and label the intersection as point F. And now we have AB is equal to CF. And the proof is pretty much the same as before. AE and AF are e sorry, DE and DF are equal in length because of the radii of the same circle. And DC and DA are the same length because it's an equilateral triangle. So consequently, these two lines are also equal, but this AB and AE are the radii of the same circle, so they're equal. So this line equals this line equals that line. They're all equal. And so we have successfully drawn a line starting at point C that is equal in length to AB. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.